Good morning. Sunday morning, out on the bike. Heading out to do a new 50 mile route that I planned this morning. Different roads, different way. As you can see, I've got the new Galibier Jouet on. Because it's meant to be quite warm today. But um, there's just a little bit of a chill still. Got a saddle bag to put it in after. Hang on, just have to change gear. So I've just coming out across the railway down to Ham's Hall. I can't see you, there you are. The screen's flipped the wrong way up, come on. That's better. I've got the new Carnac gloves on. These are the thinner ones. So at the moment there's no wind getting through this chilly. But my fingers are a little bit chilly at the moment. Right, I better concentrate now because we've got lots of park trucks. This used to be a massive power station site and now it's just industrial complex, loads of DHL, Davis Turner, um, cold storage, what else? BMW down here. Yeah, I'm getting warm now. So legs are tired. Still, I've done two races on Zwift this week. So there's DHL Automotive. Chubb to the left. So yeah, I raced up out to Zwift with um, Cameron Jeffers on YouTube, from YouTube, and the vegan cyclist and Ash Beach from YouTube. I did that race on, was it Wednesday? And then Friday night I did another race on Zwift and did again equaled me 20 minute sort of power pretty much 279 watts I did uh, I think it was normalised power of 283 and that pretty much gave me a 4 watts per kilo FTP according to that 95% of the 20 minutes so now I just need to be able to carry that out for the whole race I've got 3 point, oh just over 3.9 for the whole race so I'm heading out to Lee Marston so I've just had to cut across onto the cycle path to do this little bit so yeah another few races and I think I'll be there or pretty flipping course but then before you get automatically upgraded on Swift Power you have to do three races where you get that figure before they upgrade you automatically. Of course you can choose to yourself, but I'll wait till it does it automatically. Right, so now we're heading to Lee Marston. It's a massive sort of electrical distribution place, National Grid. Another Packington. So I think I'm a bit too hot. I've got sweat dripping from my cap down my glasses. Which you don't normally get in winter. So this gilet is doing its job. It's five degrees. I've still got me old tights on me old bib tights and we're heading up to Whittington just past Tamworth and we'll turn right we've done 52 minutes about 23 24 kilometers so far there's lots of pig dice here
there's a bit of a nip. Right, I've got to turn right in a minute, so I'll put you down. Busy road. So the pockets on this jilly are great for getting the cameras in and out of. Nice and big and deep, really easy. And the gloves are good for turning it on and off, that makes it easy too. Quite a few cyclists on this lane, one or two cars. We're heading up towards the National Memorial Arboretum now. At all of us. Lots of gravel excavations ahead, we've got to go around them. The whole of this area is like that. Got a car behind me somewhere. Alright, I go right again here. Don't know which way this car is going. A couple of cyclists. So I've been down this lane, but I've not been up it. As I said, lots of new roads today, or new route. Again. So this is quite nice. Carlton Park, that's where we are. I've seen a lot of cyclists. There's Carlton Hall, I guess. Morning. Yeah, I've been up here in the car. I don't know that I've been up here on the bike. It's quite nice. So we're just clipping cotton in the elms now. And um, we're about halfway. Oh, we're just coming into cotton in the elms anyway. And Rosliston to the left. We're not going to Rosliston quite. We're cutting right here. So cotton in the elms is just in the distance. And Rosliston is the next little village to the left. So as I said, about halfway, and I just cut the corner because I was going to go up to Rosliston and a little bit further on to do 100k. But my legs are tired today, so I don't want to do 100k. Morning, all right. So, just doing the 50 miles, about 80k. I think it's about 84. And I might do an hour on Twitter tonight with Team CLS, just the uh, Sunday social thing. Which is like, it's only a low grade ride. I think it's an average of about 1.8 maybe, what's per kilo, or two. It's like an entry level thing. Or a spin um, recovery ride. That sort of thing. So these gloves are fine, but they're just missing a little bit of terry toweling on the thumb to wipe your nose when your nose runs. 
that's the only downside. So I think it's about 5-6 degrees and perfectly warm enough. Now I've warmed up, but I have been pushing a bit. Don't dare take this off because I think it'll be cold because I've sweated quite a lot underneath it. I've only got my um, Perfetto on and that DHB long sleeve merino wool base layer. Like cotton in the elms. And I'm turning right, I believe. So I'm heading towards Lullington now and Lullington Church where I stopped on my festive 500s this year and last year just to take a picture so I'm coming through from a different direction there's the steeple sticking up so yeah that was a very smelly tractor I got stuck behind lots of diesel fumes and we've got a horse here is it? No, it's two guys cutting a hedge or something. Thought it was a horse. There's a church. That's where I stop. Nice wall. Nice wall. Right. Put you down. See you in a bit. ride I think that yeah that's where I turn right going the other way up that road on my normal route so back on roads I know now so I've now just got to go up Gun Hill at Grendon and then once to get to the top of this hill, it's up and down a little bit across the top of the ridge and then back down and only one more hill to home. We've got about 20k left now. So 50 miles done, 80 kilometres, just under three hours. One hour, 50, no, two hours 57. And I'm almost home. Just got to turn right. So if I look carefully, I can probably see my house from here. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with that today for tired legs. Rest day tomorrow, luckily, thankfully. I need one. That'll probably be about getting on towards 700 TSS for the week. Another big week. Still got the chalet on, gloves are fine. Yeah, so another vlog, another ride. Oh, before I go, I think we are on 388 subscribers. So when we get to 400, I'll do another giveaway. And I've already got the prize, and I know what it's going to be. So as soon as we get to 400 I'll record another vlog for the giveaway so thanks for watching enjoy your 
week ahead. Hope it's not too bad at work. Enjoy it. Get out on the bike when you can. See you later in the week.